I'm afraid not too much new here. Arsenal refused to learn from their mistakes, and against a rampant Man City, the score is always going to be 3-1. It does make you wonder, though, watching Man City frustrated after that Cassione goal for you know, like the, the second part of the first half. It does make you wonder what Arsenal could do if they could just circle the wagons and play some cohesive, coherent defense for just like a, a I don't know, a 30, 40 minute stretch of time. Because all teams over pursue, all teams over play like Man City when they're frustrated and they're looking for another goal. Maybe Arsenal could have gotten something if they had decent defenders. As it was, Mustafi probably should have had like one or two penalties called against him. Lick Steiner looks like he's well past it, like he's never seen a give and go uh, for the second goal, completely forgot about Sterling. The third goal, the handball goal, you know, I know there's a lot of people who are going to get technical and say that it has to be intentional for it to be a handball. I'm of the mindset, and I feel like most refs are too, that if you use something clearly illegal like your hand or your arm to stop a goal or score a goal, then they just blow the whistle. That wasn't the case, it was a goal, so at the end of the day, I think the 3-1 was a fair result. Hopefully now Arsenal with a string of winnable games can get something going. Other teams are dropping points at the top of the table, so you never know with 12, 13 games here uh, left. Maybe, maybe there is hope for the top four.